All right, we're back. My wife might walk back here in at some point, but other than that, uh, we should be good to finish up. All right. You guys are sitting at Scudum's table. He has approached the idea of hunting and killing and then eating a termite queen. What do you all think? Oh, yeah, I'm game. I'm getting a little restless, not having to... We didn't really we didn't really finish our fight with that one guy, so you know, start a fight, finish a fight, end a fight, and then uh, yeah, be he'll be in our debt. He'll be in our debt. Time to add exterminator to my portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely good spirit, Andy. All I've got on there right now is farmer, so it's a pretty short portfolio. Not even a page yet. <laughs> <laughs> More of like a uh, a placard, and it's not even in fancy writing or nothing. It's it's just my handwriting. It's it could use some work. It's written you on the side me. of a car in dirt. It's a, the beginnings <laughs> of a cover letter. <laughs> it's not a fantastic look for me. I'll be honest. It's honest work, <laughs> but it ain't much. Onward then, dear. Uh, sorry, I've, I've I've slipped your name out of my mind on accident. Scutum. It's it's a uh, Latin for shield, but it's also a uh, it's a constellation. Sounds good. <laughs> like an Earth constellation. That's real I'm pretty. Familiar with such things, but I I understand what constellations are. It's a old family tradition and all. Yada yada, you know. Anyway, so uh, he pulls up the next thing, which is a small map of uh, essentially the neighborhood he's got going on here, um, more or less. So there's the 14 uh, houses and the four 15th big house on top. Uh, and then there's a small circle with a TBD written in it. I like it. Um, and that's all sitting on top of like a, uh, like a big triangle shape, like an upside down mountain. Mm -hmm. And then there's, um, a disc. Let me actually, uh, crack this open and paint. Boop, boop. We're getting the big show now. Yeah. Boiling us. Let me, uh, get paint. Yep, here we go. All right. And this will be worthless for our audio only viewers. Just like a big upside down mountain. And then there's like a disc. And that's full of dirt. God. Uh, atop of it is all the helms. And then in the tree part of the tree, there's a whole bunch of uh, tunnels, which I will depict here as little swirly lines. And then I'll put some houses here. And then I'll make the background blue for like the sky. Yeah. Everything is blue. Dabba dee dabba die. Oh. <laughs> Perfect in that, <clears throat> Perfect in that one housey zone. Ah. Oh. I see. All right. I'm writing out kindly, my friend. That's all. Just in case you wanted to know how to spell it. I promise you, I gotta write it out phonetically because I will. Because if I read that by itself, I'll be like, "Scrotum, guys, who's Scrotum in our game?" It won't go well for any of us. <laughs> no, there's no R. Where's the R? You, I'm trying to. I'm. I'm explaining to you. Oh, fudge! I fudged up a thing. It's like a while. Do you say it's like a whale? Oh, yeah. Like a dirt whale. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Andy, I have, I've seen whales, and uh, I think you're a little off, but it is certainly uh, certainly unique. I'll be honest. I do see where she's coming from. Is he? Uh. All right, so this is the thing you see on Scutum's board. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the, the, the dark brown part is the dirt. The light brown part is the wood. 
Squiggles are the uh, termite tunnels, and then the uh, triangles on top of the houses. All right, well, Skewdom, what's the attack plan? Do you have one in mind? I was thinking that we could just uh, start running into one of the tunnels, uh, start killing things from there. Well, where where do you... That's always a solid idea. However, do you have any uh, inclination as to where the queen would be? Um, probably in the bottom at like a big royal chamber. All right, so we got to be careful and work our way down. Yeah. I never had such a... And so I never had to work my way down. I always work my way up, so... A nice change. <laughs> so... Ended at the bottom. Now we hear... <laughs> God damn it. Go to jail. Uh, to 11, whatever time that song came out. 10 or 11. So, uh, skewed him. Will you lead the way? I'm, I'll arm myself up and uh, play your lead. I will. Uh, he takes out a um, fine, uh, a finely like carved bow and slings it around his shoulder along with a bunch of arrows that are made of just wood. Uh, instead of feathers for the clutching, they have pine needles. Um, he's also got a, a helmet and breastplate that are also made out of wood. Very nice. And just for the but... aesthetic, there's like a little leaf from the, the groinal region of the breastplate that covers his crotch. His crotch was already covered, but like he has the leaf there just for like the artistry of it. I wanted to ask him two questions. Ask a meta question about him and then a, a inverse question. Meta, uh, does all the wood match? Because uh, Ring will absolutely, in her primary color disaster, uh, like roll her eyes at it if it doesn't match. Oh, no, yeah. It's all well made. It's all varnish. It looks elven make, actually. Of course it does. For Those him. knife ears know how to handle some blocks of wood. <clears throat> My other thing, uh, uh, Skewed him. Yes. Uh, do these mites have any weaknesses that you know about? Like that you're certain that could, uh, it's just a slight, slight advantage. Um, I'll be honest. No. Avoid getting acid spit onto you. Um, don't get bitten in half by their large pincers. Don't get, uh, trampled by their large feet don't get swarmed by a billion of them uh, they love doing that that's a uh, that's one they love well that's certainly encouraging yeah. onward again all right you guys head out uh to the edge of the village and then go a little further to a uh, uh where there's a small wooden uh stake placed into the ground skewed taps there and then with a shovel that he just kind of pulled from somewhere, um, begins to dig, and eventually has made a wide enough hole for everyone to enter. All right, down we go. It's a uh, it's real fucking dark. Well, like like we need like pitch black, or we need night vision dark. I mean, does everyone have dark vision? That's what I meant to say, and I perfect time to check. I do. Uh, I do. Cool. What about you, Andy? Hold on, my cat's stuck in my rug. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Jeez. get criminal. Yeah, I have dark vision. Oh. <laughs> 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 I love that cat, I'll be honest. I know she's like a hateful spite beast. I love her, though. Yeah. And never gonna stop loving her. Though. <laughs> never gonna give her up. Never gonna let her down. <laughs> she's my cat again! It's my rug! <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh, I couldn't get a picture! Oh! <laughs> she had her fat claw stuck I have this rug that's like three feet long in a circle and she was dragging it out the door <laughs> <laughs> you love to hear it 
All right. Sorry. Yeah, enter in the hole. All right. Uh, since everyone has dark vision, I'll go ahead and describe it. Uh, it's long, made of dirt. It continues that way for about 10 minutes. There's the description. All right. Keep my, uh, uh, keep my weapon up. Does anyone have anything they would like to do on the way there? Sing a grand song. (laughs) (laughs) To appease the termites, of course. I might just come under my breath, but like just just cause not anything in particular. Nice. Anyone else? That was fine. I'm gonna be keeping an eye out on the walls, see if I see any of the smaller ones. I'm double and triple checking that my guns are fucking loaded. I dig that. So I do not I do not abide by bugs. <laughs> be tweet. Free fucking tweet. All right. So as you guys go down the path, uh, it begins to get wider and wider um, as it opens up into thicker and heavier parts of dirt uh, until eventually you reach a thing that is wide enough for all four of you to stand shoulder to shoulder. And considering the prodigious size of Someone so big, you're not even sure if human is one of his halves. Uh, That's a pretty wide area. Skewdom kind of points ahead of you all and uh, whispers... uh, Uh, Around, I guess. Sorry, what was that? Uh, Sorry, my computer... I didn't know if my computer... Computer was a spinning wheel of death, but it stopped, thankfully. Continue. Lovely. Scootin points ahead of everyone and uh, gestures and he says, Tomite should become common after this point. Everyone be wary. Should we try and be all like sneaky like? Well, I'll be perfectly frank with you. I did forget to mention that they don't have eyes or ears. What do they send for then? What's left? Their mouths? They just lick him? Yeah, they, they, they kind of uh, scent the earth, um, and they can feel vibrations. So if we could have come down here without, like, walking, that would have been fine, but that's not really an option for me. I don't think uh, that's an option for anyone. At this moment, I don't believe. With Not with the, the this warning. <laughs> uh, I will also warn you guys, they're very delicious. I'll leave those for you. I uh, hope you brought one of these. Enjoy them. And he pulls out a big beer, uh, like a big, uh, like a big bib that looks like a like a big dwarf beard. And he ties it around. That's his, he ties it around his neck. Do you know this who man we should have fucking brought? <laughs> we should have fucking brought the archivist. <laughs> he loves to eat shit. Oh, darn, you're right. We can bring him back a souvenir. We'll bring him, that's, yes, uh, Skewdom, we, Skewdom, we will not be partaking, but we have a friend who will be, so we'll collect him some leftovers, if that's, uh, all right. Oh, Skewdom, do you know if these termites have hearts? Uh, sort of. They have a blood circulating organ in their, uh, rear, I believe. Do you need that, or could we take that for a friend? Oh, go crazy. All right. I usually get the big protein parts first. That's what I'm all about. I can respect that. The chitin's also really good for my uh, for my long ears and for my tusks. And he kind of points his finger at the uh, the tip of his long ears and his tusks, which are longer than most orc ears. For him, I'm just laughing at his tusks. It's cute. He likes them. Yeah, they're part of him. They're him. Yeah. Uh. All right. He says, actually, what do, I'm thinking about this. Why don't we get this party started? 
I agree. Did what you bring you- streamers? Are you going to have <laughs> confetti? <laughs> oh, we're going to have confetti. It's going to be termite guts, assuming they have organs in the traditional sense. You know, that's not what I was picturing, but we can make do. All right. He takes out a wooden club from somewhere and begins to beat on the ground with it. Now, didn't you just say that they could sense vibrations? Exactly my point. I'm glad you were paying attention. And uh, after he's done hitting the ground for a little bit, uh, two termites draw near. Everyone roll initiative. Alrighty. We need a different dice, Maiden, because geez. <laughs> uh, I think I have a multiplier, or not, a, a multiplier, so let me add that. I, I got a non natural 20. Nice. Woo! So I guess I'm going first. Yeah, you sure are. <laughs> Total of nine. I just realized I've had a plus two attack rolls uh, with ranged weapons this whole time that I haven't been using. <laughs> oh boy. So that's fun. It's on page two, and in my defense, I usually just look at the first page. Oh boy. But whoops. Chiboy's dumb. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. Oof. All right, there's the order. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go ahead and hit him with that. Not Termit. <laughs> Not Termit. <laughs> yeah, we got Termi and Termit. Oh my goodness. Oof. <laughs> so, Hart, hit him with that whatever you're going to do. I'm going to hit him with a fucking gun because I'm not getting close enough to stab it. <laughs> nice. And I'm going to add my plus two that I've been getting like a big old bag of bricks. That's 15 to hit. All right, let me see here. Just had it open and then I closed it. Uh, take us to the runner. 15 does hit. Go ahead and roll down cool. domes or damage. I will. Thirteen damage. Cool. He dies. <laughs> oh. Uh, Skewdom goes ahead and then, uh, he attacks the next one, uh, Termit. And um, wow, it's uh, it's it's not pretty. I'll be honest. He like kind of grabs it like he's like he grabs it by the legs and just flips it onto its back, and then he just fucking digs in. Like he goes Love tusk it. first, and he starts just eating the thing. It's like alive and shit, man. He's it's kicking. He's just biting and chewing and swallowing. Times like this, I wish I didn't have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have an easy solution to that called covering your eyes because it's not going to get prettier from here on out, my dear friend. Damn straight. You, my friend, are a genius. And Andy's going to cover his eyes. <laughs> he, uh, he, he stands up and he says, this one will do fine. And he uh, peels the back off of it and... Uh, Sticks the uh, gooey chitinous plate onto his uh, onto his chest plate. He's just uh, nope. That's me, myself. Ren is just thoroughly unamused. <laughs> the chitin fibers are particularly strong. When boiled, they can be shaped into many shapes. You no, know, I promise you. The less I know about this, the better. Because I have even had lunch and I feel myself about to lose it. So, onward. Onward, my dear uh, leader, I guess. 
<clears throat> Very well. Um, he begins to like pound into the tunnel. Uh, he, I'm just, just go ahead and assume that there's going to be a whole lot of termites here and there. And, uh, that if there's any more than one, I would mention it, but if there's just one, he just fucking eats the thing. And if it's got a good back, he sticks it to his chest. Well, I'm going to believe I have a vial and I have like four kits as a part of my, like, like as a, what's, what's allowed. I'm going to assume one of them has a vial for me to gather, a, a guts for our friend. Ooh, interesting. Because like, I, I'm not even trying to like be ridiculous, but I have tinkers tools, thieves tools, artisan's tools and forgery, a forgery kit. And one of those has to have even a small vial of store and but space. That makes sense, honestly. And so I, I would pull up all four of them, but like, please don't make me right now. <laughs> don't worry. I'll just, I'm fine with assuming that like being an alchemist means that you just have a shitload of bottles. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, after uh, 10 minutes of uh, like, you know, the uh, uh, meat on the hoof, as it were, you know, the walking feast. Uh, you come to another widening of the tunnel. And here, a much larger, sturdier... Uh... God, just forgot what we're fighting. Much larger, sturdier termites are uh, laying here with twice the hit points that the other ones do. Uh, let's go ahead and drop back into initiative just so I don't have to fuck with all that again. Do you need us to re-roll or are you taking the original rolls? I'm taking the original rolls, so heart and then skewed them. Just pop whichever one's closest. All right. All right. Roll them bones. I will. <laughs> Sorry, I my dice rolled off my... Uh, I have a lap desk just sitting on the side of my bed. <laughs> nice. Because I am sad. Um, oh, I was giggling at you going, no! <laughs> yeah. That's 18 to hit. Nice. That'll do it. And um, we're going to use my other gun. I'm going to use my, my little revolver this time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So I don't want to use all my big boy gun, gun skills. Eleven damage. Cool. Uh, yeah, that one dies. All right, mm. first kill goes to blood. That's a cart. I mean, I had the first kill earlier too. If we want to get technical about it, I do not want to get technical about it. I am trying to commend you. Let's move forward. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't her saying that. That was me because she's not that mean. I was just like, man, I was like, I was like, I was like, fam, we have to move. Skewdom grabs a, a termite by the uh, by the little jaw bits that it has and uh, flips it onto his back and then just opens his mouth and like scrapes it into his into his face. I, I look at Blesser and I go, I wish he would use a knife and fork, but I feel like it wouldn't make a difference. <laughs> That's the problem you have with this, his table manners. <laughs> yes, a one of many. You want a list? I'm good. <laughs> anyway, he, he like he does it in one motion, so like the termite starts on his back and he's holding it by the jaws. He opens his mouth and scrapes it into his uh in into his jaw. And when he's done, it's already on his chest, so it's just stuck to him with the rest of the termite shells. I appreciate that you use your descriptive powers for evil. I do, yes. Sometimes I say, how can I describe this in a really just icky way? You're doing a real good job. I open icky.txt and I'm like, okay, let's take a look here. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I forgot how many termites uh, I said there were earlier, but let's say six. <laughs> 
uh, one of the remaining termites is going to shoot a little acid at, uh, let's see here. Let's say Scutum. Uh, he misses. Cool. Uh, another termite is going to uh, take a little chompy chomp at, oh, Lord. Let's say, uh, let's say Hart. A termite's going to walk up and bite you. What is your AC? My AC is 16. Oh, damn. All right. Well, he attempts to get a little to get a little nibble in, uh, but it just kind of kind of clanks off of your armor or uh, doesn't really get into your flesh. By the way, steel toe boots, baby. Nice. This is something I want to mention. Uh, termites actually do have gender equality. Cool. Yeah, because with ants, cool. like all ants are female. Like all the queen and workers and soldiers are female, except for the drones, whose only purpose is just to produce eggs with the queen but with uh with termites every single one of them is uh like it's basically 50 50 hmm. yeah they have they have a king which is so rare in the animal kingdom yeah especially for you social insects oh okay uh okay i, I think it's them or it's bed bugs one or the other when they are uh hooking up uh the dude impales the lady so that's fun. <laughs> Some worse things. So, uh, next up is Ren. What you gonna do? Uh, okay, so I'm asking, like, just to know how many are left. Uh, there are four left. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run up to one uh, that tried attacking hard, I guess. Or, oh, no, I'm gonna, run, I'm gonna run up to one that hasn't been hit yet. I'm gonna run up to one that hasn't been hit yet. Okay. I am going to... See, I'm not gonna use the the acid because I know that they're probably not susceptible to it. But I am going to... All right, this is... Let's switch over. Um, I guess we're just gonna bop it on the head, and pop the weasel. Nice. Give it a they roll. do a better thing. We'll roll. I will roll to pop the, uh, pop the pop the pop. Roll for there bonk. My... You okay. mess with the honk, you get the bonk. <laughs> to do. I did that right. Awful. So ten to hit. Okay. Uh, in that case, you miss it. It bonks off of it, but that chitin's harder than you'd expect. Maybe you should listen to this friendly orcman about his chitinous adventures and exploits. I listened to him. What do you mean? You said you were grossed out by his discussion of chitin. I, I was grossed out by his eating habits. You said you uh, knew more than you ever wanted to know about chitin. D yeah, okay, that did happen. <laughs> I didn't remember. I, didn't, I don't remember having a name like that. Okay, well, I whiffed and I miss. I'm gonna roll back. I'm gonna. So I need to send you my spell sheet because it's I I I, I messed up. <laughs> but the spell that I had before I fixed it was a uh, I had the faith. It's a bonus action concentration spell. To AC, so I'm gonna cast that as I fall back. Like throw my hand, like miss the swing, walk back with my hands up with the club in one hand, and just cast the spell. Be like, all right, <laughs> anyone else? All right. Uh, then we're gonna have a termite. They're going to chomp. Andy, you haven't gone yet. They're gonna chomp at Andy, and then uh, another termite's gonna also chomp at Andy. What is your AC? Uh, fat 12. Ooh, okay. Dude, how are you at 12? Uh, barbarians can't wear armor, and my dex is horrible. And is an elf. Uh, one of them hits and does four damage. The other one does not hit. Just kind of gums you a little bit. Slimy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then uh, we're up to you. So go ahead and hit him with that, Andy. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to try swinging at the one that, that monged me with cool. my great sword. Um, 18. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Hell yeah, it will. Okay. Uh, gotta remember the. Okay. Wow, Jesus Christ. Yay. There is a uh there you swing it and there's like a there's like a goo pile where there was once a termite. Like have you ever Go seen Jello hit by a car? That's what kinda happens here. Nice. Scutum uh, nods in approval and says, hmm. That's all just <laughs> I love orcs so much. It's all you need. Do you say that in character? <laughs> no, because I need to just know what it... Andy's doing his best. <laughs> all right. Last of you fellas miss. We've got three left. We're back up to heart. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop another one. Cool. Gonna use my little handgun because we're in close quarters here. I feel like I've done math wrong, but that is a 24 to hit. <laughs> Uh, well, we're level four characters, I think, right? I have a plus seven to hit with this, and then it's also because it's ranged, so that's another plus two, and I rolled a 15. Oh, that clicks for me. All right. <laughs> I assume it hits. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. I'll go ahead and roll that damage, huh? All right. That's... Also, uh, DM, we are at level four. Okay. Sorry, five. Five, Started right, at four. We'll Eleven damage. Cool. The bullet uh, kind of sails in through one of the uh, one of the parts where, like, there would be an eye, but now it's just like one of those like center things, uh, and then comes out the other side. And uh, it's it's like someone just stomped on like a like a long john donut that's full of cream. It just <laughs> gushes out of both ends. Just it's kind of yellowish green. <sighs> Has the consistency of paint, I would say. You. Yeah, so this chunky stew-like discharge just squirts out of both ends of the termite until it's deflated and lays there on the floor. That's quite honestly the most disgusting thing. <laughs> I, I hate talent. this job, actually. Do we know if we're getting paid? <laughs> Do we know if we're getting paid? You're getting paired with friendship and companionship. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, uh, you should have. Oh, gosh. I'm sort of invested now at this point. <laughs> I kind of want to see if you'll become queen. Steve, that's the kind oh, of go-getter attitude I appreciate. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I didn't know we weren't getting paid. So uh, how about you owe us a favor if we're not getting cash? Oh, certainly. All right, solid. The favor is we want cash. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I was planning to like fight by your side with my termite army in the angel war, but like, if you want something else, that's cool. This is- this He's is making some good points. This is a discussion for another time. I we do want that. However, that is not what's the topic at hand. Oh, you want like a like a like a gratuity, like a tip? Yes, but again, we don't have to discuss that now. We can talk about it when the job's done and you're queen. I can I can work on that actually. Uh Yeah, I can handle that. Um How's a how's a do you want to talk about this now? It's my turn. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> 
Uh, in that case, he goes up to a uh, to a uh, to a termite and pulls a spear from nowhere and uh, shoves the spear through it like a skewer and then dangles it above his head and then just lets the juices kind of drizzle into him. <laughs> Starting, I look at I look at Hart and Andy. I go. I'm starting to think that we're more of an audience and witness to the, this than an actual help. He kind of looks at you. He says, "Look, I'll be honest. These guys are uh, kind of a problem, but the the real business it's the end here. Uh, the termites have only got about seven hit points. I'm a. Uh, it's good for the help, you know, because they will whittle you down eventually." I'm personally excited to see monarchy in action. I've never seen someone get queened before. I'm hoping there's like a dress transformation. Nice. <laughs> oh, onward, onward. Oh, no, we're not. We're still in battle, but. <laughs> All right. One of the uh, termites attempts to hit Skewdom, and he misses. And he probably says like, "Damn!" in termite. <laughs> or something like clicking. Nice. Uh, and then I think we're on to Ren. Hit him up. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna swing my uh, club around again, and I'm gonna try and again hit one that has not been hit yet. Cool. Hopefully, I can make a. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get a good job from a. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I skewed him. So we are gonna shift our great club, and I will. Ch- I will change weapons later if it's that aghast, that much of a crime that I have a great club. I don't know. At this point, may as well roll with it, right? No, no, actually. <laughs> uh oh, we lost a. Uh, we lost uh, Nessie. Oh God. Still gonna roll because it's not it's not uh not her turn so I'm gonna you know yeah do my my little fighty fight I'm trying to, I was trying to I was trying to find my plus sorry I was trying to find the dice and the plus on my sheet and I'm able to see things I cannot see with my eyes it's not how you that's that's damage Nia okay that's that's damage roll a d20 to hit <laughs> that is what I was trying to do apologies. I'm back. Heck yeah. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Wi-Fi bad. Okay. I mean, it's, it wasn't your turn. It wasn't like also you had to have a huge monologue like the other campaign where it was a one <laughs> one conversation and then you dropped. <laughs> Anyhow, 21 to hit. Nice. You definitely um, hit him. I'm going to roll damage properly this time because... Uh, I was a fool who rolled it. I rolled damage first, and then I rolled the hit. And I'm like, that's not, that's not correct. <laughs> oh, yeah, ten. Finally. All right. I split cool. it and I, I freaking. <laughs> no, I do a wrestling move and just nice. war cries. I jump down, bring it to the ground. Oh hell I yeah! A stick. Okay, when you pull the club out, there's there's this large like just c- club shaped imprint in the back of this thing. Yeah. Like if you pulled plaster in there, you would have a perfect replica of your hands holding this club. Yes. It it is it is almost cartoonishly perfect. I deserve. Nice. Uh, and then I think that's everyone. Yeah. Cool. Job's done. Skewdom uh, kind of takes his bib up to his face and just dries the gunk off so you can, like, see him. Uh, and he, yeah, and he, uh, he, he gestures ahead and he says, Ahead will be the Queen's Royal Chamber. Also, possibly the King. I'm not sure if they have one of those since this is like, it's kind of like a pop-up colony, I guess. Continue. All right, I'm gonna work on the uh, I'm gonna work on the bugs that'll be surrounding her. You guys, yeah, you guys get straight to the queen. I'll clear a path. Oh. All right, 
So as you step all forward to the chamber of, I guess it's like a birth chamber. Uh, the smell up till now has been kind of unremarkable, just mostly dirt and bug goo. Uh, but now an acrid smell kind of gets into your noses. Uh, it's definitely, definitely gross and definitely toxic if given enough time. Because you're definitely smelling um, whatever gives them the ability to breathe acid. Uh-oh. Uh, there's about 30 to 40 regular termites milling around this large mound. And Skewdom, a uh, guy that he is, pulls two spears and begins to just like kind of charge through them, skewering uh, termites on his sticks. Uh, just kind of pushing them pushing a big path for you guys and then making a whole lot of noise and stomping and uh, presumably like sweating a lot uh, so he can distract their senses of smell until he can drag uh, enough of them to clear a path to the large mound of the center. What do you guys do? I'm giggling at him making essentially kebabs. <laughs> yeah. That's the idea. Ash. Termite kebabs. Uh, guess I'm gonna go down the center. Uh, we could, we could all. I'm gonna look to my uh, companions. Go. Do I want to go in a line, or do we want to one take left, one take right, one take center? Left, right, and center might be more expedient. All right. Then I will take the center. I'll so go left. Get... Okay. All right. So. As you guys approach the mound, uh, you realize uh, pretty quickly, even in the darkness, you're just looking at uh, a termite's butt. That's what that's what you're looking at here. Mm. Like you're looking at a large hill, maybe the size of let's say a house, uh, okay. and then there's a regular termite body sticking out of that butt. Uh, it's uh, also shedding eggs pretty quickly. That's shedding. It's not right. shitting eggs. Oh, Christ. Thank you for the clarification. Um, and it's uh, it's heaving with exertion. Uh, no one's helping it right now on account of the large uh, orc person just kind of swinging and roaring and stomping and chewing madly. Uh, but it definitely turns to face you all, and it rolls to join the initiative. Boy. Oh, boy. Uh, it got a very high roll, despite its uh, shitty stuff, so it's going right after heart. What's everyone going to mm -hmm. do here? It's just the queen laying eggs and uh, Skeetum tearing up a storm. Yeah. No king. No king? No, no king. Small, uh, okay. small little pop-up colony. Uh, sense vibration. So I guess I'll do a hand signal and be like, do I'll signal to Heart to draw the fire. Like, obviously she was already going to, but you know, I'll do some. I, mean, I do have a couple of big fucking guns. So <laughs> draw. I'm saying the like, just make sure that uh, she can't detect us. <laughs> I try to convey that quickly through hand motions. Hopefully, it comes across. <laughs> I'm not so fluent dance. in hand motions, but I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm going to uh, run up behind uh, the queen then. Like, well, not run, but I'm going to, you know, light jog up the queen, up behind the queen. <laughs> nice, nice. So, hearts up first. What y'all doing? I'm going to take a shot at it. Cool gonna, you know, take me, use my big gun. Big gun's got more oomph to it. Yeah. yeah. That's 19 to hit. Cool. That'll definitely hit. And that is... Thirteen damage. Cool. Thirteen. All right, wonderful. Nice and easy. Uh, the bullet goes into one side, and then you see like uh, 
the the bulge on the other side as it hits the opposite of like her big like goo sack. But there's so much mush in the middle that it just slowed the bullet's velocity to not even be able to pierce the other side. Uh, and like like a, a, a river, just gunge just begins to spout from the little bullet, the the little entry hound. <laughs> it's making a little puddle it's just gorshing out it's icky we all know it let's move on <laughs> next up's the queen uh since heart draw drew her fire uh she is going to uh puke some acid in their direction oh uh, shit uh go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw okay thank god that's a natural 20 God damn, yeah. nice. Plus eight. Cool. <laughs> God, 28 on a... This, this, this is why I love specking characters in D&D. Even this early, we can get like, oh yeah, I rolled a 49. I fucking love dex builds. I know, they're my favorite. <laughs> the triple backflip out of the way, was it necessary? No. Was it freaking cool? Yes. Of course it was, Am I yeah. stylish as fuck? Yes. I think you're still too low a level to take evasion, uh, but you only take nine damage from that acid goosh instead of the 18 that it normally would have been. Woo. Next up, we have... I don't remember. Let me scroll up a little bit. There we go. Next up is Ren. What you gonna do? Uh... I wish they weren't. I wish they weren't resistant to acid. And I know you didn't say that, but it's, it's if they can spit acid, they probably aren't susceptible to it. It's prudent. It's prudent. So, uh, 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 uh it's gonna, I'm just gonna try and bash, and eventually, after this battle, I'll realize, oh, I need to do other things. So, nice. So, uh, so I'm gonna try and uh, run up and hit her, hit her near the on top of the area that. Uh, Skewdom indicated was their vulner- vulnerable spot. Oh. It works the same on her. Hit. Oh yeah, that'll hit. Fantastic. And then... And six damage. Just, just the the tiniest creature runs up behind you and hits you. Yeah, we've got a gnome with a stick, just <laughs> beating a termite bigger than a house. <laughs> uh, you hit her in the stomach and uh, in in her big, uh, soft, weak, squishy termite gut, and uh, some eggs shoot out of her egg hole, her ova poster, if you will, uh, and some more gun shoots out of her bullet wound. She makes like a kind of like a kind of like a like a termite squelching squeal noise of like pain of some variety, and uh, termites attempt to join the battle, but Skewdom is uh, kind of heading them off. He's hurting them, you know. It's he's a master of this at this point. He does herd termites for a living. I'll attempt to I'll attempt to <laughs> not say ill for the fiftieth time in character, despite the, the utter disgust rolling through her. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to back up. Cool. Then we're on to Andy. I've got to add Exterminator to my portfolio. So he's going to run up with his great sword. And... Woo! 20. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Go ahead and roll that gunge damage. Hell yeah. Hold on, I gotta check my sheet again. Okay. Nice. A whole ten. Uh, piercing. Slashing. Slashing damage. Nice. Um, uh, I'm gonna stay up close. Because of her large, squishy body, uh, slashing damage does double that. Hell yeah. So you do twenty instead. And she takes uh, a lot more damage than she normally would. Uh, you open like a big, 
like a big just fucking line of goo and like it, it's like a curtain just dropped like you're watching a theater just a curtain of sludge just pours out of her also probably some like eggs that are still in the process of being like incubated man you know you've got a good monster when I'm starting to get grossed out I'm like ooh that's icky I'm absolutely living for this uh, the queen's, like, large egg sack is starting to deflate quite a bit now. Uh, and we're back up to heart. I'm gonna shoot it again, because nice. that's all I've got. <laughs> I got gun and I got dodge, and dodge's not much help in this particular instance. Nice. Seventeen to hit. That'll do it. And twelve damage. Nice. The structural integrity of her large egg sack is weakened. Is uh, has weakened to the point where now there is an exit and uh, entrance wound. And after it gooshes on out of the other side, uh, just greenish-yellow gore falls out of, of both sides of the monster. And it squeals in pain again. Next up's the Termite Queen. Um, very, very incensed at uh, your attempts to harm it. It's going to kind of, like, sludge over to you. And as it, as it does that, it... Uh, it dislodges a whole bunch of eggs and goo from its insides. Oh, God, this is an awful, awful monster. I can't wait to be done with this chapter. Why did you make this, then? Uh, I wanted to gross everyone out, and you know what? I, it's, it's... You fucking succeeded, buddy. Oh, You're I did. failing. You gotta up your game. Oh. You're not succeeding for me. everyone else, though. <laughs> oh, blah. Anyway, it kind of slimes, it sludges its way over to you and attempts to grapple you in its claws. Uh, give me another deck save. Me? Yes. Oh, sorry. I don't know if that was ever properly directed. 17? Damn. All right. In that case, you take six damage of being smushed by some claws, but then escape. You are also not grappled, so you can freely move on your next turn instead of trying to get out of these claws. Next up is Ren. Hey, what's the queen looking like? Uh, the queen's very, very gooey. You might say that this is what passes for bloodied as a goopy, ugly termite queen. Well, a double, double, uh, being vulnerable to sword damage means that someone else will finish her, finish her off, so. Um. Yeah. Is she, um. No, no, okay. Okay. Again. All we can do. Just bash our way out. That's what we're good at. We're the best at. At being a oh, shit. <laughs> no, not a one. Oh god. Every Ooh. day I say I'm gonna stop trying to use the Bye, and every day I lie to myself. All right. Well, in that case, as you stick it into the thing, the large, mushy, like, wet, moist potato sack of a body she has kind of grabs a hold of the club and doesn't let go. It's definitely stuck in there. I'm going to swear and sigh and back up again. All right. Andy, head her with that. Oh, you know we swinging again. Hell yeah, boys. Let's see what... Dice Maiden got for us this time. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, 20. All right, quad damage. Oh, 
I like that. Okay. Um, um, when you do um, uh, critical hits, do you add the max damage or do you just uh, take this times two? I like multiplying it by two. Okay. So that'll be 28? Uh, yes. Okay. But then it'll and also be double the again because of her gooey body. I'm I'm just I'm just thinking about the nice queen transformation our dear friend is gonna have soon. This is for him. God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So anyway, you do like fifty six damage. Holy shit. Oh no, it's gonna explode everywhere. Uh. Well. Oh yeah. Uh. There's like this rain of gore. <laughs> Uh, Hart is saved from it on the virtue of standing behind the thing. <laughs> in front? Yes. Because mm -hmm. she was drawing the fire, she was in a different place. Well, I'm just gonna cover my face and try not to let it get in my mouth. Cause... <laughs> nah, it's healthy. Open wide. Oh. What, is it, what benefit would it give us? Protein. One way to find out. Let's do this. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, no. At the death of their queen, all the uh, termites stop, and uh, as as Gunge just kind of rains down on you. You're, you ever seen the Nickelodeon Choice Awards? My God. <laughs> <laughs> You're in one of those. Oh, we're getting slime, but it's a slime. It's gore. Jack oh. Black's reading a card Ooh. nearby. Anyway, Skewdom does a uh, perfectly executed uh, pencil dive into the uh, into the thing, and after a little bit of swimming, comes out his mouth tinged with purple instead of green. And uh, he rips the head off of the termite queen and kind of uh, puts it on like a helmet, and then yes, I'm roars in orcish, and uh, the termites all stop and then line up in formation. Okay, termites, now let's get in formation. <laughs> And he says, perfect. Now we have an ability to... Holy shit. I was so not prepared for that. And he kind of grabs his head. He's like, oh my god. And he sort of massages his temples a little bit. He's like, I'm good. I'll be good. I'm just... Jesus Christ. Is the transformation happening? When does your dress show up? <laughs> oh, well, check this out. And he kind of walks out of it. And there's just like... R rivulets of goo just sticking to him in like a kind of like a skirt shape. Nice, I think. How's that You're for you? are beautiful. You you certainly look like their queen. Very very nice. I feel like I'm gonna get a hangover off of this stuff. This is ugh. I can see why normally only termites partake of royal jelly. Can can we still have the heart thing? Oh yeah. He kind of sticks his head back in there and then throws you a large sack. It's kind of like a blackish brown. Uh, it's oozing some sort of pus. Who's gonna I'm going to carry it, and I'm nice. not going to look super happy about it. <laughs> Let's head back to the cabin. Uh, I've got a thing for you guys. Alrighty. I'm going to keep the termites out of the sunlight. They uh, They have sunlight sensitivity on their stat block. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> also, if exposed to light in real life, they can die. All right. <laughs> you guys uh, oh. make a gooey, sticky walk. Besides, uh, besides heart, make a gooey, sticky, gross walk up to the surface. Uh, by the time you get there, it's all dry, so you know you can just like hit it and it'll crack off. It's like mud. I'm chipping away at myself. The, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I slipped my mind. Did I get my Did I get my club back? Uh, yes, you can pull it out of there. You can safely pull it out of there. Cool. I'm gonna hold it with a pinched finger and uh, try and shake the goo off, and also chip myself off. Prudent. Uh, as you guys get along to that surface, Skewdom is uh, thanking you guys for assistance in his orky endeavors. Uh, no problem. I know, but like, thanks for holding up the prophecy and all. 
I didn't actually know if we were going to succeed. That's that's all. Did you expect us to die? No, no. See, I usually avoid getting prophecies about the outcome of events in case, you know, because I might not like it, but if I hear it, well, it's prophesized. So I'm, you know, meet your destiny on the road you take to avoid it. If I hear it, it's going to happen. Best way to avoid that is not to hear it. And that's the most prudent thing that, like, you always got to keep in mind about prophecies. Even if they have, like, a cool plot twist, they're still going to happen in some form. All right. <laughs> it's a, it's one of the things that you get when being so attuned to prophecy. Anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for helping me out with my termite problem. Uh, they, like, eat holes and stuff. They, uh, they're kind of gross and ugly, but you know what? Angels don't like them, so we're gonna, we're gonna rig something up. Get them over yonder somewhere. Uh, as you reach the surface, he sets down the uh, large pile of termite shells in a in a little stack and um, kind of shakes himself like a dog. Goo splatters everywhere, Blech. and uh, he gestures to his uh, to his home. He says, "Your gift is in there, if you like." I do like. I hope it's also a shower. <laughs> we can work something out. Uh, and he, and he, his eyes kind of drift to a bucket that has some holes in it next to, uh, next to the pond. Anyway, y'all gonna head back to his house? I guess. All right. Oh, mind well. We have nowhere else to really go. He, uh, he, as you guys get in there, he hands you some freshly baked bread. Uh, it's like actual bread made of like yeast and shit. Like it's not termite goo bread. Fantastic. I gobble it down. Hell yeah. Uh, and then he goes to a large uh, chest set with brass in the very back of the room. It's very, very old looking. Uh, and it also appears to be elven in make, like his wooden armor. And uh, he opens it. There's a few cobwebs inside, but the only spiders are dead at the bottom. They uh, they haven't had a lot to eat in there. And he lifts out a uh, a small uh, tartan sack, and he says, "This is what I intended to give to you. It's a magical item. It's very powerful, though I have no use for it. It belonged to my father a long time ago. If you like, you can have it." And he extends a hand to someone. Who wants this thing? I don't know what it is. He just said it belongs to his father. We can't see it yet. Okay, fine. I'll, well, uh, he takes it out. It's a belt. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Nothing stronger than that? dad's belt. Oh my god. You good? I already, already got one of those, so uh, bow out. I'll take it. Okay. You want to put it on? Absolutely. Okay. What's your strength score? I want to be strong like an orc dad. My only goal in life. Treat yourself, DM. What's your uh, What's your strength score? Uh, it is 17 now. Okay. Uh, your strength score goes up to 19 as soon as you put that belt on. Hell yeah. Wowza. You, you feel a thickening yeah. of your muscles and like a, a rush of adrenaline. Oh, I feel good. Yeah. And yeah, you have achieved uh, a belt of giant strength that once belonged to Skewtum's father. Very interesting. Yeah. I appreciate this. Of course. Good luck on your quest. We will see each other again when the war begins. Have fun with your... Uh... Are they your children now? Or are they your court? I'm not exactly sure about that. I think they're adopted children. I hope they learn to call you mother. I am not so sure about that. But you know what? We'll workshop it. Good luck on your quest. We will meet again. And with that, he waves you goodbye. Wait, where are we going to stay while we're here? 
Oh, you want? Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, hey. And uh, he kind of leans out his window, and someone else says, "What?" In the distance. Do you have a spare room right now? Yeah. Does it have room for three? I can make room. He kind of turns to look at you. Is that all right? Yes, thank you. I just want a, I want a nice shower is all. We will, we'll be on our way very soon. All right. One of you is getting yeah. a couch, just FYI. It's not a bad couch. It's just not a bad. Understood. Thank you for your help. He's got a dog also. Is that? Uh, does anyone have allergies? Is that going to be a... <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, we're good. All right. Then rest well, heroes. Thank you again for your help. And with that, he waves you out his door. I'm going to return to the the horse okay. with the, the termite heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you find a you find a burrow with like a like a like a small man sitting in it. And he says, hey, I'm going to I'm going to kneel beside it. Oh. Hey, Archie, uh, we went and we fought this termite queen, and then we made an orc turn into a queen. It was very uh, slimy, but Ooh. I got her heart if you want it. That sounds like a delicacy. I'll certainly try it. You want to drop down the heart? <laughs> he sticks the whole thing in his mouth and then just kind of pushes it into his throat with his finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are an enigma, Archie. Yes. I'm gonna go lay on a couch for a bit, I think. Godspeed. In any particular god we going after or just Because mm -hmm. there are some fast ones, like the ones that have wings on their shoes or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm assuming that most gods are quick I don't know. I'm uh, I was just kinda saying things because I've heard them before. But that's a Ooh. recipe for disaster. Sometimes, you know. Understandable. Have fun hibernating, Archie. And I'm going to return to the others. <laughs> Alright, does anyone else have some wrap-up stuff for the adventure? Uh, no, i got to talk with you like about my ch ch uh, chart later, but no. Ren's going to take a shower and fall asleep wherever she sits. Nice. Yeah. In that case, that's the session, everyone. Good job. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Everyone have a good time? We killed the turn right oh, yeah. again. All right. Well, I bet we case, went from uh, fighting an angel to fighting termites. Yeah. I, I very disgusting termites. Look, the termites were worse. It's a glow up. I love it. This I is Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. everyone, you know? <laughs> it's tunnels and termites. <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's a hot game. All right. In that case, I'll see everyone next week. Even if it's not literally Bye. next week, it will be in the production order. Say bye, everyone. See you. See you. Bye. 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 <laughs>